Hello friends, thank you for liking my tutorials. This video will be focusing on how to create assignments in Google Classroom. I have already shared a video on how we can create Google quiz or test for our students. This will be focusing on assignments. Before I move forth, I request you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you. So let's begin. Let us enter the Google Classroom using the Gmail account. Here it is. And we land up on this page. Uh, let's enter our grade 6. If you have not created your class, you can uh, create a class first. You need to invite your students. Uh, I'll quickly show you how you can uh, invite your students to your class. Go to people. I only have two people here to give you a demo you can press on this plus icon and uh, mention the name of the student you want to invite to your class so if you are having a class of 40 students you need to um, invite those students through email here for example i'm writing uh, one email address it's appearing so this is how i'll select and send an invite so this invite has been sent it's uh, coming a bit hazy here and once i will join it from my email it will be bold as above so this is how we send invites to our students you can create a whole class of students here now let's see how to create assignment let's go to classwork once we enter our classwork we need to click on the create button you can see i already have two things with me task one task two some tests but let's see how to create assignment click here go to assignment and now as we do in google forms or quizzes you may give your title here it could be anything for example i'm going to give a writing question to my students so i can uh, give here again section b writing 2 so it is my second assignment instructions uh, um, okay answer the question in 120 to 150 words so i have given one instruction i've written answer the question it means i'm going to give one question i mean you can change the instructions as you want as you want now going to the right side, uh, we already know this is the class for which it is there. So it is great that you need to select for which class it is applicable. Then for all students or it is for selective students. If you have above average students, uh, you can give uh, your assignments as per their uh, intelligence quotient. So uh, it's only two students are reflecting here. So it's for all students. I need to take this all students. If you need to give it to any particular students, if it is an easy one for below average students, you can always make a choice here whether you want to assign points for this assignment or you want to keep it ungraded it's your wish you can alter it from here now is there any due date for submission of this assignment you can mention the due date it will appear for example you are giving enough time uh, you are giving one week's time to the student to prepare for it so you can choose your date due date from here you can mention time here if you need to be time specific also so if you want to give any topic now i already have one task here but i don't remember what it is so as maybe it's about writing i'll just check it quickly now task two is reading i can create a new topic here or i can go back and check so i'll quickly go back i have pressed the back button now yes it was about writing so just to remind me i am renaming it task one and i have given this as writing so i have renamed it now if i'll go back you will see i'll see this option here my assignment is here let's keep editing that so now task one writing is appearing so i am selecting this in the same topic now topics help us to keep our work organized now if it is a writing based question in english so let it appear in writing only say if i'm giving a new work from literature so i'll create a new topic as literature 
so i'm sticking to task one writing uh, rubrics uh, i'll explain later it will take much time so it's the basic version of an assignment and if i want to assign it right away i need to click here on assign i'll come back uh, here so now either i can create an assignment right away or i can go to add so here, here is an add option here you can add a link from your google drive directly give a link here or uh, if you have a file with you you can click here and uh, upload a file here so you can uh, use the these buttons if you want to create one then you need to create one it is asking whether you want to create a document a slide sheets drawings forms forms is the quizzes or tests that we made so if you want mcqs and other types it has to be in the quiz form you can choose this let me choose a simple one because it's a writing task i am choosing doc it's creating google docs now uh, let's see uh, what question i want to gi give say i want to give them a, a letter to write so write a letter to the editor of a national daily uh, sharing your views on uh, importance of time so it's a very general one sharing your uh, views on importance on time importance of time on the importance of time right so this is how we can give okay um, sign yourself as Sam or Samira we have given a name also now I want to give them the format for writing in the beginning so I can write examination hall New Delhi India leave one line space and give them a start the editor and maybe further they can write themselves so this is my question and i want them to write their answers here only so this is what i made i'll quickly double click here to change the name uh, it was an untitled document so i can call it uh, letter to editor or i can call it formal writing practice anything so i've titled it letter to editor this is how it's been done if i want to use some effects i can bold it from here if i want to insert an image i can use insert image icon and upload an image or go to drive to put an image here so it depends so as i told you it's a basic version uh, if you want to share right away you can click on share here otherwise now you have created one it will be there you can assign your work now it's ready so it's named it's everything is done here now uh, let's see now this is our uh, i'll just quickly refresh it uh, so uh, you see uh, it's appearing here in task one writing it's a draft i have not published it yet so let me go there as i'll quick here click here answer the question in 120 to 150 words and letter to editor it's coming here but it's a draft i have not published it yet let's go to edit again i'm just showing you so that you know how you have to do it's showing these options here and it is very important now click here students can view file now it means only they can view this file they will not be able to make any change to the file that i have created but if i want them to make any change in that or write their answer there only by editing the document so i have to give them the editing right students can edit file like that and if i want that each of them should get a separate copy of it so make a copy for each student like that i have to select it now if it, it depends what you want to choose accordingly you can give your assignment and once you are done with the settings you have to assign it if you don't want to assign it right away what you can do is you can schedule it or if you want to come back to it later and further make changes to it you can save draft i don't want to schedule it i don't want to save a draft i want to assign it right away 
so it is asking me students will see the assignment in their streams immediately it's double checking with you so you click assign again now this particular assignment has been assigned if we will look here in task one writing this has been created posted at this particular time due date is june 9 so two students have been assigned this work and this is this if you want to view your assignment you can click here and this is how it will be shown now when student will be submitting it it will appear here i will show that in my other video so this was it about creating an assignment and uh, it wasn't that tough i'll uh, quickly show you one more thing here here is google calendar once you assign your date it will automatically be updated in the google calendar as it is loading you can see this is the google calendar that is reflecting here it is weekly let me convert into month see here now on 9th it is showing assignment section b writing it's due so on 10th assignment section b writing is due this was another task that i created before so th this way it will automatically be updated in your google calendar so you don't have to keep a track manually or coming back to the assignment page again and again hope you like this video and you'll be able to create assignments for your students thank you this is priya handa signing off do like share comment subscribe god bless you all